Today, I'm going to show you a really easy way to bore out your jaws using an end mill on our mill turn machine. So let's throw our tool into our machine and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is touch off our end mill on our presetter so the machine knows how long our tool is. Once that's done, we'll call up our tool, turn on our milling spindle, and send it to the front of our chuck. Now all I'm going to do here is take a real skim cut so I can see right where the front is, and then I'm going to input that information into my control so we can officially get started. Now, I wrote a macro to do this, and I wanted to make sure everything was right in my program before just trying to bore out my whole set of jaws. So I tested the program on the front of the chuck to make sure everything was going to come out to size and make sure it looked half decent. Now, it looks rougher than it really is in the footage, but honestly, scratching it, it was pretty smooth. So next, we have to take our full depth of cut. We're going to go one inch deep, stepping up 80 thousands per revolution of our chuck. And right here is really where the strategy is easier because getting a boring bar in there can be tricky sometimes, especially when you're going a little bit smaller than this. It can chatter really bad. With this, it'll work no matter what diameter you're at, which is why I like to use this method. Now that we're done roughing, let's take a look at our surface finish we got from our roughing strategy. You could tell I wasn't too happy with it here. So we're going to make it look better by taking a nice skim pass going way slower to make the chuck truer, make the surface finish look better. And you could tell from my reaction after I did that, I was pretty happy with it. So that right there is how I bore out my jaws on a mill turn machine using an end mill. I wrote a macro to do this, and I'm curious as to if you guys would like to see that in a long form video. I'll happily make it. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Other than that, have a good day.